Hello, in this lecture we are going to discuss the built-in functions and help feature in the MATLAB. So let's begin. So first we are going to discuss few of the basic math function in MATLAB and then in the upcoming lectures we will be discussing other math functions in depth. So the first function we have got is the square root. So square root is by its name they use to calculate the square root of any number. So what is the syntax of calculating the square root is SQRT and in the round brackets we will enter the number of which we have to calculate the square root for example 4 and here we have got the answer 2. You can also save the answer into a variable like if I define a variable x and and write the syntax of square root then you can also save the answer in this way into a variable now you can also create a more complex function like if i want to calculate the square root of sine of any angle like I define a variable sqrt and in the round bracket I define another function sine and in the round bracket 90 or 45 for example and here I have got the answer so you can also create your own functions like by combining two or three different functions now the another function we have got is the remainder remainder is actually the number which we get after the division of two numbers like for example i use the function rem and now i will enter the number which has to be divided like 5 and i want to divide it by 2 and the remainder i have got is 1 like 2 to the 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1 so you can also use this function the next function we have got is size it is used to calculate the size of any matrix or any vector so how to use it first we have to define a matrix so i define a matrix n equal to in the square brackets i enter the elements of that matrix 1 2 3 and semicolon 4 5 6 and here i have defined a matrix now i will calculate its size that is it has two rows and three columns so i use the function size and in the round bracket i enter the variable m and here you can see we have got two rows and three columns you can also save the size of any matrix into a, another variable that you have defined like if i define variable rows slash columns equal to size n so here you can see we have saved the answer into a variable now the important feature of MATLAB is the help feature which is used to know the detail of any function that you want to know like its syntax that how to use that function or for what the function is used so to know the details of any function you have to use the help feature so how to use the help feature it's very simple that you have to use the help keyword and afterward you have to enter the function that you want to know like for example i use the help and i want to know the function of sine so i enter sine enter and here you can see it showed the details of this function similarly you can search any other function like rat and it is a rational approximation and it is also showing the syntax that how to use and here we have got the syntax so in this way you can use this function it's very useful so that's it
for this video and I hope you have understood some of the basic useful math function and the help feature. In the next video, we will be discussing more math function in MATLAB in detail. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.